Hi guys, hope we are all doing well. Welcome back once again to Affinity Racing and this week, pretty much I think for the majority of the week, into Lagos, Daily Race B. Not too fussed about um, the uh, about Daily Race C. Um, never the biggest fan of, uh, of the Le Mans track, to be perfectly honest with you. But we might give it a go, you never know. But as it stands for now, we are on Daily Race B for the majority of this week, I think. Um, we are starting P8 in the Supra, a 1.30, 1.9 or 131.8 I think uh, is my qualifying time that can obviously be improved by quite a bit um, I only had a chance to get a couple of laps in so I'd like to think that I can improve but you never do know uh, I think I was half a second up uh, before this um, before we kicked into this lobby uh, so hopefully anyways we can do a little bit better than that I'd definitely like to think right then P8 Peugeot up in front we're in the Supra and uh, I'm hoping that we can do all right in this. Someone going for a, well, I was going to say a dive bomb. I left the door wide open there. I was had a panic that I uh, wasn't recording everything. He gets a track limits penalty though, and he's in the Beetle. Great, great little car that. Always a massive fan of that car. He's going to go to the inside to defend this one. We might, but we can't. Hold it around the outside. We might get to uh, drop under him here though. Avoiding the contact, can we just out drag him? Maybe later on the brakes in that thing. Already a good little battle brewing. And then with the Italian here. Only of course the uh, the five laps for Daily Race B, so that's always the only problem. Never feels like there is enough laps. But I suppose, they do say short and sweet, don't they? But Interlagos is a very, very tricky track. So it's why from the off, from the very start, I'm trying to set decent qualifying times. I'm not messing about trying to do uh, attempts from the back, because it's just never going to work on a track like this. Um, never, ever in a million years are you going to be able to get a decent result from the back. So. He's uh, side to side there, not too sure which way to go. Does he defend on the inside, defend on the outside? We get pushed. Ah, man. We got pushed a little bit there. Not entirely his fault. I was still maybe a bit too far over to the right hand side. Ah, but that little nudge there, that's put us onto the grass. And already then, at the start of lap two, it becomes a recovery race, which is not what we want at all. We wanted to try and make the most of this week. Get some good, uh, start in some half decent positions and start uh, upping our DR a little bit. As it's been up and down recently, took a bit of a hit recently. Um, and now we're trying to get it back on the men, but easier said than done when uh, the Beetle wants to push you wide like that. I can't blame him 100% because I don't quite know, to be honest with you. I was a little bit too far out of the right hand side, anyways. But uh, I don't think I would have been intending to put it on the grass, I know that much. And there's that RX Vision, tremendous little car that. Ooh, that's very early on the brakes. That is very early on the brakes. I'm going to try and get round the outside of him yet. have to go the extra long way. He's going to give us a nudge. We managed to out drag him rather comfortably there. P11 then, this is going to be a pretty disastrous start to this week's races, I think. Can we get ourselves back to at least, at least where we started, which was P8? truth it's probably quite unlikely <laughs> but we can only do our best we don't want to lose DR on uh, kick the week off with a, a rather hefty loss
I feel like we might be able to make up a position or two back here. I'd really like to think. about to point someone out serving a penalty or with a penalty to serve earlier and that's him coming back onto the track now so there's our P8 see if we can try and get back uh, to that at the very least might not actually get past this guy serving the penalty we don't we're just right on the back of them now the fellow Brit here so this is actually going to be quite tricky even just to get back to P8 as it stands look at the gap between P8 and uh, 7 though Lovely little move from the super there, around the outside. And it's around the outside of the... Um, oh, that's a dive bomb. The same guy that uh, you got ran wide by. And you can see there's a big fight brewing here oh, between the two of them. I don't want to knock this super off the track. I'm going to try and stick it to the inside here, just get around him. He's binned it, I think. Oh, I thought he binned it on the radar. He was almost facing the wrong way there. We can definitely have this uh, beetle here, I think. Or the yeetle, as it should be appropriately named, by the looks of things. Let's get him in the uh, in the tour here. Should have him on the straight quite easily, I would have thought. Oh, you're not too sure. I don't think they're on which side he wants to go to. Second time there, he's nudged us over to the right-hand side. We almost spin it there. This kind of secondary mid, almost the, the, the half bin that we had there. I wouldn't say it was entirely his fault, just a little bit too harsh on the brakes. Tried to outbreak that a little bit too much. Um, but he did hold his line on the right hand side. A bit clearer on that one that he wasn't wanting to defend. the super into the back of me there. I just about hold that one together, thankfully. And this is going to end up becoming hopefully a last ditch attempt to get past this beetle on the line, I think. Oh, I almost planted it there. I felt like I would have put the car around. Come on, we can get past him here, I think. Oh no, what are you doing, pal? What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh! And we lose P11 as well. We drop down to P11. What are you doing, mate? Oh, that is annoying, that. What a vengeful little fight that became. That is a real shame, that. That is a shame. <laughs> what can you do? You literally can't win with people like that, can you? Uh, that is, he just didn't want us to get past him there. That is, a, that is very frustrating. But there we are, first week. That is our introduction to Interlagos then. First race of the week, I should say. Uh, our introduction to Interlagos. A scrappy, vengeful little fight that one uh hopefully some better results to come really hope you've enjoyed this video if you have done make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss future episodes live streams all that good stuff please drop a like drop a comment on the video it really does help and i shall see you in the next one Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, hit subscribe for future videos, future episodes, and more content just like this. And while you're down there, make sure you check out our description for links to our merch store to get hold of awesome t-shirts just like this one. Any orders on the merch store goes a long, long way to supporting channels just like this. I also think the t-shirts look pretty cool, so make sure you grab what you can, and I shall see you in the next episode.